Hi, it's the insurance exam queen. And today we are going to learn about hazards. So hazards are things that increase the chance of a loss. It's very important to memorize that definition. Hazards increase the chance of a loss. They make a loss way more likely to happen. So if there is a hazard, there is more likely to be a claim. And so we want to first memorize the definition of hazards, which increases the chance of a loss. So a hazard increases the chance of a loss. And then there are three types of hazards. There's physical, moral, and morale. Now, a physical hazard is the, the easiest one. This one is something that is material and structural. Now, depending on if you're learning health insurance versus homeowners, they kind of take a different focus on physical. If you're talking about health or life insurance, physical is gonna be like your physical body, your past medical history, smoking, drinking, anything that, that impairs or affects or harms your body would be a physical hazard. When we're talking about homeowners, physical hazard would be things that are material and structural. And, and honestly, that can, they talk about physical and structural as well on the health exam, especially when it's in a general insurance chapter. So it's not to say that it's, it's either going to be physical hazard body only for health and physical material and structural only for homeowners. You can see it in both ways. <clears throat> now, with a physical hazard, this is something that is material and structural. That's the fancy way to say it, is material and structural. The easy, I understand this way to say it, is something that you can see and touch. You can see materials. You can touch structure. So a physical hazard is something that you can see and touch. So some examples of a physical hazard could be gas cans next to rags in the garage. Way more likely to have a fire if you have gas cans next to rags in the garage. A physical hazard could be a pothole in the road. It could be a tree branch that fell over into the road. Um, it's anything that you can interact with, that you can see, that you can touch, material and structural. <clears throat> now the next uh, hazard is moral. And a moral hazard is where someone is lying on purpose. They know what they're doing is wrong. They're choosing to do it anyway. They are lying on purpose. And the most common example of a moral hazard and the one that you're going to see a lot on the state exam is I lied on my insurance application. So someone who is filling out an insurance application and they lie because they don't want to admit that they have past medical issues or whatever that would, if they are afraid that they're either going to be charged more money because of their health, they're going to have to pay a higher premium, or they might be denied insurance because of their health, so they lie about it, that is a moral hazard. So a moral hazard is lying on purpose. I lied on my insurance application is the most common example of that. <clears throat> now, morale, we can get a little bit confused with moral and morale because they're almost the same. The only difference is you got a little E here at the end of morale. Now, morale is more about a feeling and it's about an attitude. And specifically, it's about a carelessness, a sense of carelessness. I don't care. I do what I want. It feels good to speed down the freeway, even though that means I might get into an accident and I could crash. It feels good, so I'm going to do it. That's a morale hazard. Um, I like to joke, so you see I have hashtag YOLO here, because a morale hazard is kind of like that teenager kind of attitude. They think they're going to live forever. Nothing, you know, I'm just going to do what I want. I'm going to have fun. Doesn't matter what harm comes my way. I'm having a good time. That's what a morale hazard is. Now on the state exam, <clears throat> I've seen a few questions sometimes that will talk about, um, uh, let's go smoke and drink because we're going to die anyway. And smoking and drinking would fall into a physical hazard, but the end of that question is saying you're going to die anyway. It's more about the attitude and that sense of carelessness. So that's going to be more of the morale is the sense of carelessness. I do what I want. It feels good. I don't think about consequences. Um, like it doesn't matter if my house burns down. The insurance company will rebuild it anyway. 
That's the kind of attitude that you have with morale. So again, in summary, hazards increase the chance of a loss. They make an accident way more likely to happen and you wanna be prepared to understand and memorize that definition for the state exam. Then you have physical hazards, which are things that you can see and touch, material and structural. You have moral, which is lying on purpose. I lied on my insurance application. And then you have morale, that sense of carelessness. I do what I want. I do whatever feels good. I don't really think about the consequences. And that would be a moral hazard. If this video has helped you, please leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe so you can get any other videos and share with anyone else who is taking the state exam. And I am available for tutoring. You can email me at insuranceexamqueen at gmail.com and I'll be happy to work with you and follow for more. Thanks.